And just like this, we've got the last bolt, bolt there installed. And of course, that's how easy it is to actually replace your old spring straps for the new spring straps from the Mares XR line. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory School Memory. And if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to change out the straps on your Mares fins. Now I do have spring straps on here, but if you can't tell, the little sleeve is just kind of worn out. So I'm gonna be replacing it with a brand new set of spring straps. And I'm gonna show you the difference between the older style springs and the newer style springs from the Mares XR line. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video and show you just how easy it is to swap out these fin straps. All right guys, before we get this replaced, I do wanna show you something really neat to, to the Mares fin sets. With the exception of one pair of fins that Mares makes, all their open heel fins are gonna have a universal post here. And what do I mean by that? That's simply this part here. This is a universal post that you can use an ABS buckle, you can use a bungee strap, or you can use some type of spring strap system to mount. And it doesn't have to be the heavier duty spring straps. It can be the um, little cinch straps if you want to. But the cool thing about this is you can very easily swap these uh, straps out very easily. In a recent past, we showed you how to swap out the ABS buckles. But in all honesty, even the bungee straps are going to do basically the same thing. All you've got to do is rotate them upwards to this vertical position and then simply just push down and that vertical or that um, universal post will allow whatever buckle system you have to pop right off and you can very easily change it out. Maybe I didn't want to put another set of bungees on. I can just simply put it on in that vertical position, pull up on it till I hear it snap. Once it snaps, of course, it's put right back into place. But what we're going to do today is we're going to trade out the older style spring straps on my fins here for the newer set. Now I do want to state this, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these other than this sleeve is just kind of worn out. Um, and I can get a new sleeve for it. That's very simple to do. However, on the new XR spring straps, they are set up a little bit different. And I want to show you the difference between these really quick. So if we look at the way it's manufactured, you will notice on the newer style, they got a much higher wall here. And then on the older style here, they're uh, a little bit lower. So you can kind of see the cutout and how different they are between the two. And I actually prefer this new one. I've already swapped all my other fins over to this newer style. And that's what we're gonna put on these two. Um, I have noticed in the past, sometimes if you'll notice where this bar is located, sometimes it can actually get above that post. And if you get it turned just right, it's gonna pop out very easily. And I don't want that to happen. So I am gonna be replacing it with this newer style. And hopefully we won't be having that issue uh, in the future with this. They've also slightly slid that hole back just a little bit further where your screw or your barb goes through. So that's going to help secure that post in just a little bit easier. So with that being said, let's pop these off and I'll show you just how easy it is to install these. All right, guys, once you get your new spring straps, you want to kind of inventory everything you've got. You've got the two different spring straps here. You're going to have several of these bars or these bolts that go through, and you're going to have several of these nylon lock washers as well. Um, and you're only going to be using uh, two of these per fin. So you're not going to be putting all four in, in just one strap. So we're going to set these aside where we need them. And that way we can kind of be oriented exactly where we need to be. We're going to go ahead and take our uh, old straps here. And like I said, one of the problems with these older straps is where the barbs were located. If you got it turned just right, you didn't even have to take this out to pop it off your fin. They would very easily pop off if you wasn't careful. So we're going to eliminate that all together and put these new ones on. Um, to do this, of course, you're going to need two things. You're going to need like a number one Phillips, a very small Phillips. And you're also going to need some type of plier system. I'm just going to use my uh, little multi-tool here from Gerber. And we're going to do the exact same procedure that we did on all the other fins. So we're going to start in that vertical position, and we're just going to slide it up until it snaps into place, like so. Okay. And then I can slide it down into place. Now, we can already tell that this bolt is actually going to be positioned much further back than where it was on the other one. Now, these bolts will only go in one way. So you got to make sure you get them in the right way. But once you get it up in there, 
push it on through make sure everything stays lined up like so okay and then we can take our little lock nut here on the back get it started and this is where it's going to take two hands to do this so of course I'm gonna hold the lock nut with a pair of pliers I'm gonna use my number one on top just like that and we'll go all the way until it stops once it stops and we'll do a quick comparison with this other fin too for you just just so you can see see how this bar here is almost sitting on top of our post to where on this newer style it's actually below the bar is below that post there so that's one of the ways that of course it's going to be a lot more secure too so let's go ahead and secure the other side get it started here here we go get it lined up just like that all right and get our lock washer started hold up the pair of pliers and we'll tighten this one down So it stops and now as you can see it is actually below that post it's not going to allow this to come off unless you actually take that bar out and it doesn't really matter how I rotate it you'll see that it's much more secure than what the other one is now that I've got that one replaced I'm gonna go ahead and replace the other one and then I'll kind of give you some final thoughts at the end so there you go guys that's how easy it is to replace the older spring straps from the Marez XR line with the new Marez XR spring straps and it doesn't really matter once again if you dive spring straps if you're diving say the bungee straps such as this one or even the old rubber style pull straps like from the ABS line they're all going to virtually work the same. There's only one set of fins in the Marez line that does not have the universal post. So the cool thing about the universal post, it will work with other manufacturers' fin straps as well, which is a great thing. So if you've got your favorite ones, pop these off, pop which ones you on it that you want and then go out and have a good fun day of diving but that's going to be it for today let me know down in the comment section below do you prefer the rubber straps the bungee straps or some type of spring straps on your fin and why you prefer those straps why do you think they're better than say one of the others and as well but if you got any questions drop me a comment down below and i'll try to answer it the best i can as quick as i can as well if you like this video give me a big thumbs up definitely share it but until our next one take care god bless and i'll see you in the next video